What's going on, everybody? My name is Jamie Thompson uh, here at Full Compass with the Allen & Heath Zone PX5 mixer. This is an all-analog 4 plus 1 channel mixer. It's a performance-based effects mixer, so it does have built-in effects here. Um, but again, it is an analog uh, mixer with analog filters built in. Um, now what I want to do is just kind of run over the uh, overview with the, the PX5 here and give you an idea of what's going on. So at the very top here, we have our effects send. Um, now we can use this effects send to go to our internal effects engine. We can set it to external to go to an external effects unit, or we can flip this to dual and it'll send from one send both to the internal and to the external outputs. From there, we go down to our actual effects send, which is on every single channel here, including our auxiliary channel. Um, down to our input, we have the option for phono, USB, or line. We've got our gain stage. Then we have our three band uh, total kill EQ. And then we get down to our crossfader options. We can set this to X uh, off or through or the Y side. Down to our filter button, uh, which will enable the filter on that channel. Down to our uh, Q and then our fader section crossfader. Now, the cool thing about the uh, Zone PX5 here is that the auxiliary section channel is almost identical to the other four channels on the mixer. So the only big difference is, is it doesn't have a fader built in. But we still have our sends, we still have our gain, we still have our three band total kill EQ, as long with our filter section that we can send to the filter. Now one of the cool things about the auxiliary channel here is that we have the ability to send audio from our computer uh, into this auxiliary channel. Now this is a Tractor certified DVS mixer um, and with the announcement of the Ableton update with Link involved with Tractor, we can actually send the output of Ableton into auxiliary and run uh, four channels of Tractor along with an output from Ableton Live uh, or another program like that. So in Ableton here, I actually have an output option for uh, 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 and 10 would go to my auxiliary channel. So it's very cool that we can run all four channels from Tractor along with an Ableton rig all in one mixer here. Now as we go over to the right side here, we've got our effects section. And at the top, like I said, we can source this from our sends, like I have set up here. We've got our master. Otherwise, we have our auxiliary channels one, two, three, and four. So I'm just gonna leave this to send here. Now when it is in send mode, we do have the ability to flip this between pre and post uh, fader effects. We also have the options to send the effects to either the X or the Y side of the crossfader. So to access our effects, all I have to do is go to our effects select here and click in. Now, this Excite Effects engine was built from the ground up along with the PX5, uh, specifically for the PX5 here. So I'll go over what our options are. So we've got uh, massive Q delay, PCM delay, filter delay, delay and reverb, mod delay, tape echo, Clean Plate, Swell Reverb, Concert Hall, Tiled Room, Attack Gate, Reso Gate, Flanger, Pitch Verb, Time Warp, Distortion, and then we can exit at the bottom here uh, to get back out. So if I want a select effect, I can just click, flip to maybe our uh, Delay and Reverb, select it, and pull it right in here. Now I do have the option here to tap out tempo, or I can just hold the button down and it will give me the BPM uh, automatically for this track here. Um, then we can use our beat buttons here to flip between our delay times. So I'll show you uh, a little bit of the effects here. Now apart from our beat uh, selection here, we do have the option for uh, milliseconds as an interval knob here. We also have our 
delay decay or reverb decay. And then we've got a, a focus knob. Now the focus knob is cool because what it is is frequency specific uh, effects. So if I just want to delay the high end of a track uh, or the low end, um, I can spin this and just delay out uh, that certain frequency band. So it's very cool. We also then have our level and then our effects on and off here. Now our filter section um, is really cool here. This is a analog filter and all you have to do to assign the filter is just select the tracks that you would want to assign to it. Now once you assign the filter, it'll come down here to our filter on and off. And we have options for high pass, band pass, low pass. And then we have our resonance. And this will go from uh, low mi uh, mild resonance to uh, high resonance wild. So I'll show you that now. On the back of the PX5, we've got plenty of uh, options for inputs and outputs here. So we'll start on this side. We've got our microphone input for our auxiliary channel, along with uh, stereo quarter inch um, input line inputs. We have phono and line RCA inputs for channels 1, 2, 3, and 4. We've got a stereo quarter inch effects send, along with the effects external return. And then we have our RCA record outputs. So then we have our master XLR stereo output. We've got a master two RCA out along with a quarter inch TRS uh, insert and quarter inch TRS booth outputs. Then we go into our X-Link, which will allow you to plug into the K2 controllers. Now next to that is the uh, X-Link protocol, which will allow you to link in um, the K2 accessories that can be uh, linked in um, down the line so you can link it in multiple K2s all to a single X link on the back side of the PX5. We have our USB to the laptop. Then we have our MIDI uh, sync output. Now this is cool because the MIDI output can be sent into external devices like drum machines or sequencers or synthesizers to sync up um, your entire rig all to your PX5. Thank you everybody, that's Alan and Heath Zone PX5. For more information, go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales pro.